3D solid objects can be edited in a range of different ways. In this tutorial we're just going to look at two basic uh, editing techniques. First of all using grips and then secondly using the gizmos. Just, like in, just as in 2D I can reveal grips on any 3D object by clicking it and selecting it, you'll see that in this case we have a whole range of grip types uh, too, basically. Uh, we have the standard square grips, which you may have recognized from uh, 2D objects, and we have some directional grips, which will allow us to modify the object in uh, particular directions. For example, if I wanted to increase the height of this cylinder, I could just click on the uh, directional grip on the top face there, and then move my cursor up and to extend that uh, cylinder. I can either just pick a point now or I can enter a value uh, for the difference in height. I'm just going to pick to increase uh, the height there. Now the directional uh, grips at each of the quadrant points on the base circle can also be used and they, the effect they have is to change the radius of that cylinder. So if I want to reduce it or increase it I can do it like that. And once again I can either just pick a point or I can enter a value. Now the uh, square grips uh, act in pretty much the same way, so the square grip at the center of the base circle can be used to move the cylinder anywhere in the ground plane, like so. And that's quite neat. As always, to uh, remove uh, the selection, I just hit the escape key on the keyboard, like so. Now other objects have different grip types just like in 2D and if I were to select the uh, box here you can see that uh, once again we have uh, two different types of grips the square grips and the directional grips and here the difference is that uh, if we select a square grip on a corner or a vertex of the box like so I can use that to move that vertex anywhere in the ground plane and you'll see that I can modify the size of that box uh, and changing the aspect ratio of the rectangle or of, for the base or whatever. Pick that point to select it there. The directional grips have the same effect or a similar effect to the ones we looked at on the cylinder so if I want to just move this face, this front face out, I can do that using uh, that directional grip I can reduce it also like that and if I want to increase the height I can do it with that grip like that and once again I can move the uh, box by clicking the middle grip and the base there and again I can move that anywhere in the ground plane like so and escape to deselect It's worth pointing out that grip editing in 3D offers us the same op options as grip editing in 2D. So if I select that box there, for example, and then click on the middle grip there, I still have access to the right-click menu, just as we do in 2D. And th this gives us access to move, mirror, rotate, stretch, uh, scale, and the various other um, editing options that we would normally have when we are grip editing. So bear in mind that those are all there for you when you need them.